Hi, Yarnabies. How are you today? Oh, I have some exciting news. <laughs> okay. I am an 80s kid. I wasn't born in the 80s, but I grew up in the 80s. Uh, and I love anything 80s. I'm just one of those people. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> but um movies in the 80s i mean you look at them now and you think they're all hokey and everything but you know it is what it is <laughs> um and they're starting to remake some of the movies that were from back then like uh top gun just came out and you know stuff like that so one of my favorite movies that came out was willow okay um, the original Willow came out in 1988, so it was the end of the 80s, but uh, it I loved it. It had Val Kilmer in it, and it, I I just loved it. It was, it was, there were some funny parts in it. Well, it's Val Kilmer, what can I say? Uh, but it was, um, it was adventurous and it was, you know, fantasy and it was, you know, I just, I really, really enjoyed it. Well, they came out with a remake, not a remake. They came out with a TV series. Now it came out last year. I didn't even know about it. There's so many things I, that are on that I don't even realize, but I happened to come across this when I went into my Disney plus um, channels. And I was like, what? They made another Willow? And then I realized it was a TV series. And I thought, oh, I got to watch it. I, I binge watched the whole thing. Well, let me tell you. Um, well, let me tell you kind of the basics. If you've never seen Willow, I really encourage you to go and see it. I'm sure that the original Willow would be on Crave and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> and I'm not sure of what other streaming... The, the new Willow has, but it's on Disney Plus if you have that. Um, so in the original Willow, it was it was a, a big adventure. There was a, a queen, had a baby. They, you know, or uh, there was somebody who had a baby and she, yeah, she was a princess. So um, there was an evil queen, uh Bavmorda, I think it was Bavmorda, Bavmorda, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> that was after this child because this child was going to have magical, you know, um, like she's, she's got magic and she can do magic and all that. Um, so the, the big adventure with Val Kilmer and what I, I can never get his name right. Wardwick Davis. Uh, they go on this adventure to try and save the, to protect the baby and go after the, this evil queen. They end up banishing this evil queen. Uh, but the, um, uh, the, the, the Allura, uh, Dan, Dan, Allura Dannon, thank you, uh, was a baby throughout the whole first movie. Right. Well, in this movie, she's grown up. It's 20 years later and they've hidden her away in this castle. It sounds like a Cinderella story, really. Uh, but <clears throat> they've hidden her away in this castle, didn't tell her to, who she was um, and put her in the, ki the kitchen. Hmm. Interesting. So she never mind <laughs> so anyways um the evil queen emerges again and the Alora falls in love with the prince in the castle well the prince and the staff you know not good so anyways, um, they 
end up going off in this adventure to save the prince because the prince has been taken by the evil queen to lure Elaine, uh, Laura to, um, to the queen. So they go off on this adventure and Willow tries to teach Alora magic in like 2.5 seconds. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, oh by the way, you have this ability to do magic. You just don't know it yet. And you've had 20 years of being underground basically. And now you got to bring your magic out like that. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Let's see how that goes. <laughs> so anyway, um, they go and they save the prince and all that kind of stuff. Now, I don't know if they're going to keep going with this TV series or if this was a one shot deal. I'm really hoping that they do come out with like um, series like every year for different adventures because I really enjoyed this. <clears throat> Was it as good as the original? Hmm. I would, I don't know. I, I guess so in its own way. Um, I mean, it is 20 years later, right? So, but I, um, I, ha I, 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 okay. I just have to say this, you know, um, Warwick Davis has aged very well. <clears throat> I'm just saying, you know, I, I was quite shocked. I'm, I was shocked that they had him in this TV series, to be honest, but yeah, he, he aged really well. Um, so there's that. <laughs> anyway. Okay. In the TV series, Alora was wearing a cloak. Now it wasn't a full cloak. It was almost like a long shawl that was wrapped and it, it was gorgeous. I fell in love with it. The minute I saw it, it it's hooded. Um, and I was like, I have to make that. So hers was a beautiful green. It was like darker than that. <clears throat> Um, it, beautiful, beautiful, deep green. Uh, it was knitted. So I figured, well, I could go a whole bunch of different ways with this because I don't knit and being crochet, being a crocheter, the sky's the limit, right? So I was excited about this and I got a hold of Charlie from Have a Yarn with Charlie. <clears throat> and I said, Hey, have you seen the new Willow? She's like, no. And I says, well, you need to watch it. I says, because there's a cloak in there that Alora wears that I want to make. Do you want to do a collab? And she was like, sure. <laughs> she had no idea what she was getting herself into. Uh, but she said, yes. <laughs> I was like, okay, let's do this. So, um, We've been uh, talking back and forth about how to make this cloak. And we decided what we're going to do is, <clears throat> excuse me, she's going to use different colors than me. I'm Neither one of us are doing it in the green. Okay. We're doing it in, a to in totally different colors. And we're going to have the base the same, right? So it's half double crochets and half double crochets in the back loop. And then I, I, for me, I put in a bobble stitch. Okay. I don't know if Charlie's going to do a bobble stitch because the yarn that she's using is gorgeous. She's using this fuzzy yarn. I think there's wool in it though. It has a big halo. So I don't know if bobbles would show up in that. Um, but she's also using another yarn that it goes beautifully with it. So I'm not sure what she's going to do with that. But <clears throat> um, <laughs> this cloak in the show goes down to the floor. Okay. Um, 
I thought when I started doing this that 300 foundation double cro half double crochets was going to be enough. I think we could have gone 400 and Charlie even said that. <clears throat> but you know what? I had already done my foundation and started my first couple of rows and went, forget it. Uh, so it's just going to be a little bit shorter. That's all. No big deal. I'll put something on the ends of it or something just to make it a bit longer. <laughs> Maybe tassels or something. Um, so this is going to basically be a collab where we're going to show you our progress uh, every so often. I don't know if we're doing it every week or what, but I've been working on this for a couple of days and it's already taken me forever and I've got like that much done. So we'll see how this goes. Um, I am using, oops, hang on, hold that thought. Okay. I am using a 5.5 millimeter hook, my furls, my beautiful unicorn hook. It's not called the unicorn hook. That's what I call it. Okay. Now I'm using... I love this yarn and the color is aubergine. Now I did this because I have a lot of this colored yarn right now. So I thought this would be a very beautiful royal type color uh, to use. Now it's actually darker than that. You know, it's like this color. Okay. Now to pair up with that I'm using um this yarn I, it's all this yarn here uh that I got at Christmas time in my Black Friday sale <laughs> if you haven't seen that move uh, that video oh my good lord <clears throat> I'll put that up above here I got way too much but you know so I'm gonna use it <laughs> And I can't even begin to pronounce this yarn. But if you go into Hirschner's and you go into the uh, value value packs, it's in there. Okay. Uh, the color, it, I, I don't even know which number is the color because it's in a different language. It's here. But it... <clears throat> it's 100% acrylic, as is this. I don't know how much of this I'm going to need. I've already used up one of these. I have this much left, and I have this much left of this one, so this will get me a little bit of a ways. I think I'm only going to need two balls of each, but I've also got to do the hood, right? <clears throat> so, are you ready? So we've coined, we we are calling this the Alora cloak. Okay. Um, I've seen a couple of Etsy patterns. Um, I think only one of them is crochet. One is sewn or something. Not a lot of people have done this cloak. So am I going to be doing a tutorial on it? Probably not. <laughs> Not at 300 stitches. Nuh -uh. I might do it again in this color or something. Do it more chunky. Uh, but who knows? We'll see how it goes. Okay. So this is, oops. This is how it's, oops, it's upside down. This is how it's looking so far. Okay. So I did the foundation half double crochet. And then I did a uh, half double crochet row. <clears throat> half double crochet row, half double in the back loop, and then a bobble stitch row, and half double crochet row, half double crochet in the back loop, and a bobble stitch. And that's going to be what it's going to look like throughout the whole thing. <clears throat> Excuse me, you guys. My throat's just... That's for another video. <laughs> <clears throat> On Friday, I'm going for my throat thing so hopefully we're fixing it yay 
Okay. <clears throat> um, so that's how much I've got done. And this is like, <laughs> it starts here. And it goes to here. You can see why this is taking me so long with a 5.5 millimeter hook. What was I thinking? <sighs> We're just winging this. Um, I, I understand somewhat the concept. Now, the concept of how we're designing this is probably different than the actual Alora cloak in the movie because I don't think one, one side of her cloak has an armhole. I'm not entirely sure, but we're doing two armholes on ours. <clears throat> so, <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> So we're going to see how this goes. Um, I'm going to leave Charlie's link down below and uh, go check out her channel and see how her progress go is going and check out her yarn. Oh, she's doing it in earth tones, pinky earth tones. Oh, it's gorgeous. So yeah, so this is going to be, I've got three different projects going right now. So this is going to be... Um, a longer haul one I think I'm having a little bit of issue with doing the bobble stitch with this hook um, I probably should have maybe gone with my wood hook but I'm so far into it now that it's too late um, but I think it's gonna turn out really nice once it's done <coughs> excuse me I actually I just had to frog four rows back so it would have been like this long because my ends are kind of going all wonky on one side wherever the other side is on this side my ends see my ends are kind of going all wonky on me oh crazy because <clears throat> yeah see on this side it's going dipping down and, and I'm going, well, I've got the right amount of stitches. So what the heck is going on? So I frogged it back and I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to fix this. Me and sides of things don't mix. Like I just, I can't for the life of me get my sides straight on things, but we're going to, we're going to work on it. All right, I think that's all I had to tell you. Uh, check back. I don't know when I'm going to be doing the next update. <laughs> we'll see how much I got done. <laughs> so <clears throat> I think we're doing 15 inches altogether, but I think after 11 inches is when we're doing the armholes. Don't quote me. We'll see when we get to the 11 inches. All right. I will talk to you guys later. Don't forget to go and check out Charlie. Okay, I love you all. Bye.